Greetings, 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 everyone. Peace and infinite blessings. It's your girl, Isis Love. And I'm just, I'm just so super excited. I hope everybody is doing good this fabulous, fabulous uh, Tuesdays, tapped in Tuesdays. Um, wow. I want to share something with you guys. Um, some of you may have been following my timeline Friday, and you see that I uh, participated in uh, another medicine ceremony, plant medicine ceremony. And this time, the name of this plant medicine was San Pedro. And oh, baby, <laughs> was it an experience. So, peace, peace, peace. So, I'm going to be sharing that experience with each and every one of you, um, just some of the things that I went through and why I chose to uh, take this plant medicine uh, journey and why I recommend that everybody, at least one time in their life, you know, experience uh, the magic of uh, plants because they're not just good for eating. You know, plants are good uh, for really helping you purge and release things um, that you may be holding on to. And so, um, you know, being a <clears throat> being a priestess, being a shaman, um, I know that my calling is to work with plant medicine. That's why uh, spirit keeps leading me to these different ceremonies to partic participate in. So... Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be sharing, but before I share my experience, I just want to see where everybody is tuning in live from, so if you could just kind of drop the state or the country that you're tuning in live from, that will definitely, I would like that, because I like to know where people are uh, watching live from around the world. And if you know somebody that's interested in taking a plant medicine journey, make sure you share this video, tag them in this video so that they also can uh, hear the experience that I'm going to be sharing. OK, so we're going to be starting here in 30 seconds. So if you're on this live, just, you know, just stand fast. Don't get off. I'm going to share my experience. I'm just uh, taking the time to invite some people really quick. I know this was just like a spare of a moment thing. I actually have still been purging and releasing, so that's why I didn't share my experience right away. So here it goes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just share. Peace, everyone. Um, so on Friday, last Friday, I took a plant medicine uh, journey, and the plant medicine of choice was San Pedro, right? San Pedro. There is another name uh, for San Pedro. It starts with an H, but I don't want to slaughter the name, right? And so San Pedro is used for ceremonies, um, and it helps. What it really does is help open up the heart chakra. And uh, like I like to say, the first eye chakra. Some of you may say the third eye chakra, but I say the first eye chakra. So um, so it, it really helps with e, like bringing up any old traumas, any old um, energies that we may have. Peace, 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 God is shining. Peace, peace, peace. So it helps you bring out any like old emotions or um, any stagnant energy. It's a feeling plant. So it makes you feel. You are going to feel, right? And so what happens is um, a lot of times, you know, we have things happen to us in our adult life, we have things happen to us in our childhood, and those things sometimes don't go away. They just stay inside of us. They just stay suppressed, or they stay, you know, hidden inside of us. And sometimes, you know, not even sometimes, all the times, we also carry on our ancestors' trauma, right? We carry on trauma from our ancestors, and that stuff is in our blood. That stuff is in our DNA, right? And so not only... Then we purge on behalf of ourselves. We purge on behalf of our ancestors, right? So it was very powerful. So I'm going to share with you my experience. It doesn't mean that's how your experience is going to be. So I would say, you know, don't let this, you know, scare you or anything. But um, so some of you may know, um, I did a retreat maybe about a month ago. And at that retreat, I was called to uh, do a ceremony with mushrooms, right? And I will, oh, I didn't make a video for that, but I will make a video for that. But the mushroom journey was definitely intense. But the San Pedro journey, we journeyed from 10 in the morning 
to 9.30 at night. Can you imagine, right? Ten, it started at 8. We didn't start to about 10. And it ended about 9.30, 10 o'clock. We were just purging. And so... Um, San Pedro makes you want to move. It makes you want to dance. And that's the way the medicine also works. The energy also works. The medicine has to get through your system. So you have to move. You have to dance. So we had live drummers. We had shakers. We had rattlers. We had shamanic, uh, shamanic jumps. And we even had a live Afro punk DJ, right? We had a live Afro house DJ to really get into the roots. Cause you know, um, you know, music is stuff from Africa. That beat, that beat is the same as the rhythm of your heartbeat, right? So, so that's what's wrong with the music now. It's so dumbed down. It's so repetitive. And it doesn't really have that that heartbeat, right? So, it was about maybe I want to say ten to twelve people doing the ceremony. Um, normally people do the ceremony outside, but we did the ceremony inside. We had like a outside balcony where people can go outside and get a, fr you know, get fresh air and stuff. And, um, people even, some people even brought their kids. We had three little kids there. So it was very interesting. So I'm not going to lie. I was nervous. Okay. I was nervous. Okay. I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. But deep, but at the same instance, I knew this was my calling. I know this is my calling, right? Spirit wouldn't align this in my path if it wasn't for me. And so I, you know, I lead by my intuition. I lead by spirit. And so only reason why I was really nervous is I'm just going to admit something to you all. I do not like to throw up, right? I do not like to throw up. I don't like to see people throw up. I don't like to hear people throw up. When I was younger, I would cry when I had to throw up. Like, I would literally be like, Mom, I don't want to throw up. I don't want to. I'm scared. You know, I would, like, I would be scared of people throwing up at school. I don't know what it was, right? But spirit was like, baby, you're going to have to get, <laughs> you're going to have to get used to that because you're, you're, you're a shaman, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be journeying more. So you're going to have to get used to that. So let me tell you with San Pedro, you're going to purge, baby. You're going to purge, right? Some people threw up, some people didn't throw up. But when I told you, when I tell you I threw up for everybody, <laughs> I literally threw up for everybody, like. They gave us these little buckets, and um, so I, let me backtrack. So San Pedro is like a cactus, right? So it's real thick, and it's real slimy. So they had to add some uh, cacao powder to it to kind of give it some taste. So it's real thick already. So as I'm like, because you can't babysit it. You have to drink it. So as I'm drinking it, I'm like uh, already gaggy because it's like really like snotty. You know, it's like cactus. It's like aloe vera, right? It's like really thick. And my gag reflexes don't don't work for that, right? So I just chugged it down, chugged it down. And um, as we took it, we started having a little bit of drumming going. And we had to, like, just walk. Because in order for it to really get into your blood system, you have to walk around. Peace, everybody. Peace. You have to walk around. So I started walking and walking. I was hearing the drums. I was dancing. Boom. It hit me, right? I was like, whoa, like I start feeling like my head started to like kind of like spin a little bit. Like I started seeing different colors. My body started to feel like really, really limp. And so I just had to sit down, right? I had to sit down. Um, and so as I sat there, like, you know, just processing, feeling it, like I can feel everything. I can feel everybody. Like I literally felt my heart like opening up at that point. And as I sit there, right, and I'm just like, oh, gosh, here it comes, like, here comes the throw up, right? <laughs> oh, no, right? And so, yeah, I threw up. But pretty much, like I said, I threw up a lot. But, you know, just because the throw up is good, right? Because what you do is before you even do the ceremony, you set your intentions to what you want to release from your body, right? And I told myself I wanted to release stress any fear, any um, worry, any doubt. I wanted certain things I wanted to release out of my life, right? Because life, you're going to continue to do the self-work, right? Every day we're doing work on ourselves. It doesn't take an overnight thing. You're always going to do work on yourself. So 
there are a couple things in my life that I'm still working through, right? I'm no freaking super sane, right? I have my own things that I have going on, but I know how to, I have different tools and modalities to help me, you know, go through uh, certain things. So during that throw up experience, right, I was purging, I was purging out that worry, purging out that stress, purging out whatever else I put on my paper, right? So not everybody threw up. Some people cried. Right. I didn't cry. Right. Some people just cried and cried and cried and cried. But it wasn't like it was something dreadful. It was beautiful because we were purging. Some people just laughed. Right. It just, <laughs> you know, just laughed the whole time. Right. However, the plant medicine speaks to you however it should speak to you. So everybody's experience is not the same. So after, you know, the first I want to say eight or nine times that I threw up, right? <laughs> That's when I started to feel a little bit more better. Like, I started to feel, like, just so connected to everything. Like, when I tell you, you feel it, I can't even really explain it. You have to experience it yourself. But I can literally just feel it going through my body. And then the beat, the beat of the drums, the the, the moving like it was just so intuitive, right? And so we did this exercise where everybody put it in a blindfold. And um, we all, uh, we did an exercise where we all laid down and we just experienced ourselves from birth, you know, busting out of that cocoon, you know, learning how to move, learning how to be in the darkness. See, a lot of things are, a lot of things take place in the darkness. Everything happens in the darkness, right? Within darkness, that's when magic happens in that dark matter and that melodin, right? And that dark void, that's where things happen in the darkness. And so darkness is going to come. We have light and we have darkness in here, right? But you got to know how to surf the waves and still make your way through the darkness because see, sometimes when we hit rock bottom or something doesn't go right in our life, we like to stay in that dark place instead of being able to be able to move in the dark, right? So what the blindfold exercise taught us was how to move in the dark. So afterwards, you know, we kind of got up and then we just danced. We just danced with the blindfold on, not thinking about how people are viewing us, not thinking about who's doing that dance move, just letting your body be and express, right? Because we hold a lot of energy in our bodies. So if you're walking around and your body is sore and you don't know why it's sore, you're probably holding on to some old pain, right? You're probably holding on to some old trauma. So you got to move. Your body has to move. So, you know, just, you know, drum, like just listening to the rhythm of the drums, not knowing who was around me. But I had to feel it. I had to feel through the dark. I had to feel who was around me. I had to feel the rhythm of the drums. And I can see in the dark. Yes, I was able to still see in the dark. Even though I was blindfolded, I can see in the dark right? It was vibrations. I was seeing the vibrations. And so um, finally we took the mask off. I was sweating, sweating, sweating. I remember there's times I was dancing. I'd go sit down for a little bit. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would throw up again, get back up and keep dancing because you got to keep moving. You literally have to keep moving so that the medicine can do what it does, right? And so, um, I mean, pfft, if you haven't seen the experience on my Facebook Live, I highly recommend you go back to my Facebook timeline and I was able to share uh, some snippets of the experience. I'm going to be adding the experience to this live video. Some of it's going to be graphic. Some of it's you may see me throwing up, right? But it's my raw, honest truth. It's me being real with y'all and showing y'all what I experienced through my journey. So I'm not going to edit. I'm not going to, you know, take stuff out. I'm going to give it to you raw and uncut, right? So um, let's speak a little bit now about, um, you know, why it's important to uh, work with different uh, plant medicines. And let's go ahead and debunk the taboo. See, people have things uh, misconstrued, right? People think that the pharmacy, right, the, the pharmacy, they call medicine drugs at the pharmacy, right? So people think that medicine at the pharmacy is perfectly fine for them. There's nothing wrong with it, but then they view things like marijuana, mushrooms, 
ayahuasca, San Pedro, they view those as being drugs, right? And it's the flip-flop. It's the other way around. Everything is coming from the earth, right? All those prescription medicines that you're taking from the doctor, that's all a science experiment, right? They're in a lab creating stuff to make you even more sicker, right? And look at the word pharmacy. It's spelled with a P. It should be spelled with the F. Because when you think about a pharmacy, you're thinking about nature. You're thinking about vegetables. You're thinking about fruits. Really, you're thinking about fruits because vegetables are really just fruits. But that's another subject. But you're thinking about um, fruits. You're thinking about herbs. You're thinking about uh, mushrooms. You're thinking about different plant mandalas. Mand um, I can't even think of the word. Damn, I had a brain freeze. Modalities that are here to uh, assist you on this journey. So, you know, sometimes it's deeper than just doing meditation, you know. Sometimes it's deeper than just reading a self-help book on how to release stress or how to get over, you know, your ex or whatever. Whatever kind of problems that we may have. Like, you have to really get inside yourself and do the inner work. The inner work. Because I don't care how successful you are. I don't care if you're a multimillionaire a billionaire, if you have not done the work, that stuff is going to catch up to you, right? And so that's why it's important to use these plants, right? These medicine plants to help guide you and to, yeah, to help guide you on this journey and to help you release and remember who you are and who they are, right? One thing about taking plant medicine is that it's always inside of you. Like I'm bonded with the San Pedro plant. And if I really wanted to, through, you know, deep meditation, I am able to activate the plant, right? Activate it and, and have it assist me and help me on my journey in life, even with the shrooms. The shrooms are not out of my system. They have become me. I have became one with it, right? And so, you know, um, uh, that's why I really feel the importance of it and taking the taboo off of it because our ancestors... Uh, work with plant medicine, right? Our ancestors, um, you know, did a lot of ceremonies. So I wouldn't recommend that you take mushrooms or, you know, take San Pedro just to kick it with your friends, you know, just to, you know, have fun because San Pedro is not a kick it with your friend uh, type of plant medicine. You're not going to want to take no San Pedro and go to no uh, club and, and be geeked up. No, you don't know. This is strictly ceremonial because of the work that it does. I wouldn't even really recommend anybody take any shrooms and go partying everywhere. You're freaking wide open, right? Your psyche's open, you know, your heart is open. And when you're going into like clubs and stuff like that, or you're hanging around people whose energy is very negative, you are you are giving yourself um, a chance to really just be um, in a vibration of low low frequencies and, and, and entities like to attach to you when you're open like that and you're so vulnerable. So I would definitely do something like this around people that you like, love, and trust. Uh, people that you know is going to have your back and not going to try to take you know advantage of you when you're down and you're feeling vulnerable and just like wide open, right? So... That's one recommendation. Also, if you're going to take San Pedro, I would highly recommend that you don't do anything for 48 to 72 hours because the medicine is still processing. Like, I thought I was going to be able to share this live video with you guys the next day. No, baby. I was still purging. I wasn't throwing up, but I was just so raw. And when I mean raw, like, like I was just so sensitive. I was, like, tapped into everything. My emotions, you know. Stuff was still coming out of me. I was still processing stuff. And so I just, I couldn't get on live. Like, I couldn't even talk. The only thing that I can do is just lay out. Just lay out and stay hydrated. And um, even the next day, I felt the medicine. I'm not even going to lie. I still kind of felt the medicine. Like, I didn't wake up today till about 11 o'clock today. Like, my body just really wanted to sleep. Um, will I do it again? Yes, I will do it again. Will I do it again anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. If the spirit wants me to, um, and I'm going to have to do it because um, what I desire to do is uh, continue to do the shamanic work um, along with my financial uh, work, right? Because spirituality and finances is the same thing. They're both energy. 
And we cannot be successful and wealthy people if we have not done the inner work because eventually all that stuff that you've been hiding in, inside of you, all that stuff you try to look away from, it's going to eventually come up. It's going to be triggered by something that somebody said or something somebody did. So we really have to do the work, family. So um, that's kind of it. Like, that was my experience. Like... Um, that was my uh, experience with uh, San Pedro. Like, um, wow, I would recommend anybody do it. Make sure that you have a uh, shaman that you can uh, trust, love, and uh, appreciate. I will be getting um, uh, my shaman patches uh, soon. I have to do more ceremonies to be able to hold ceremonies for uh, other people. But I don't know if you all have ever heard of ayahuasca. Um Ayahuasca still doesn't have anything on San Pedro. Like, that's how deep ayahuasca is. But I damn sure feel like I deserve my shamanic patch for uh, San Pedro because that was something I never experienced like that before. Like, you can't even, like, control it. Like, if you want to stop the experience, you're just going to have to feel it. It's not like smoking weed where you're like, oh, okay, I'm high, I'm feeling good. No, you're going to do the work, baby. So... Before I, I get off this live video, I want to actually just take some questions. I see a couple people in here. Um, if you're just getting on my live feed, uh, make sure that you uh, replay this video so you can get the full experience um, of the San Pedro journey. Um, but if anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask, um, ask me a quick question. My Facebook family, my YouTube family. Um, just ask me any questions. I'm here to uh, answer anything. If you're down here in the Georgia area and you would like to take um, a plant medicine uh, journey, please just inbox me. I can give you the information uh, for the shaman that uh, I worked with. So anybody have any questions, comments, concerns before I get off of here? I greatly appreciate every each individual who is watching this live and who is going to watch this live uh later um let me see any questions i need info or i'll wait on you okay just hit me up lovely uh dominique just inbox me and um why were you purging because you purge because it's the plant medicine releases anything that is not supposed to be in your body right so some people throw up some people cry some people laugh some people sweat you are releasing toxins, Marge, so you want to purge, right? Why would you want to keep all of that stuff inside of you, right? The whole thing is to purge and release, right? Not hold on to it. So you want to purge and release these type of things uh, from your body. Was it on purpose? Was it on purpose to what, Marge? Was it on purpose to purge or what do you mean? Can you elaborate on that um, question so I can make sure... Um, the purpose. Yes, on purpose. Wait, what's the purpose, you guys? Hold on. Can you rephrase that question, Marge? And if you guys are just getting on this live video, I'm sharing my uh, San Pedro. Uh, okay, was everybody purging? Yes, everybody purges. Everybody purges in their own way, though. So some people might have threw up. Some people might have not threw up. Some people just cried. You know, whatever, whatever the medicine does for you is supposed to do right so some people didn't throw up like i seen a couple people i think i seen one or two a couple people who didn't throw up at all right but maybe their release was through dancing you purge through dancing through movement through moving the body is just a purge along right let me see let me see your body just per yeah just purge by itself you can't control it the plant medicine helps your body purge, Marge. The point when you take the plant medicine, it does what it's supposed to do. Just like if you take some type of medicine from the doctor, right? You're taking that medicine to purge your body from whatever fever or whatever bacteria that you got, right? It's the same thing. So your body and the medicine works together as one to help you purge and release whatever's in your body. I hope that uh, answers your question, Marge. Um, anybody else, any questions about um, plant medicine, um, my journey with plant medicine, 
Um, I'm here to take a couple of more questions, a couple more questions. If you're just coming in here also, um, please let me know what country, what state, what universe, what galaxy you are tuning in from. I love to know where everybody's watching. Did you fast before you purge? Yes, I fast, right? I did a day fast. Um, I stopped eating, I think, around 1 or 2 on Thursday. And I just purged all the way up until the next morning. I purged that whole day. I mean, I purged. I'm sorry. Fast. Fast. Yes, I fast. But just because you fast doesn't mean you're not going to throw up. <laughs> See, that was my whole thing. I was like, I'm not going to eat anything because I don't want to throw up. Uh-uh. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, let me see. What's going on? What's going on, Lorna? I still got to call you, my lovely goddess. Okay, in my experience, I cried and I realized that I suppressed too much of myself. I love to see you share. And how. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I love to share because these are the things we need to get back to, okay? Because we have been so whitewashed by... Um, western culture um that we have forgotten our roots we have forgotten our ways we uh rely on man-made medicine before we even rely on something that grows from the earth see we like to say that we believe in god but we don't even want to take plant medicine from the earth that comes from god we would rather go to the pharmacy and pop something in our body that can kill us right so let me see did you have to a silent period of no talking um not really, uh, Marge. Everybody, we didn't really have a silent period of no talking. Like, we did have a period where we would, like, just rest and reset. You know, like, the drumming stopped, and we just, like, took a minute to just, like, take it all in, take it all in. But most of the times, we were moving. We were dancing. If you guys just go back to my timeline, uh, you will definitely see how much we were just, like, moving in our zone however that came out however however you dance you just dance right so no there was not really um moments of no talking if anything you heard moments of uh, uh, <laughs> you know yeah you heard moments of throwing up or moments of like uh, like just yelling and crying because these are all the things that we're holding on to you gotta think about it it is some people don't even cry they hold it in. They hold it in. They hold it in. And so this medicine is like, not today, boo. You're not going to hold this in today, boo. Right? So let me see. Yes, right on time. I'm going to grow this plant. What plant was it? San Pedro. It's another name for it. Um, but if you just type it in uh, YouTube, I'm going to put it in here. If you just type it in YouTube or... Um, or um, our favorite friend Google, it'll be able to tell you some more insight on it. But um, it's right up there with ayahuasca, right? So uh, take a couple more questions. I plan to do Siri. Yes, Lorna. Shout out to my God is my soul sister. She's going to be doing an ayahuasca um, ceremony next month. Woo! Salute to you, sister. Salute to you. I am not ready for that one, not. Yeah, San Pedro taught me. I was, I'm, I'm not ready for that. So definitely go balls to the wall, Lorna. Do the ayahuasca. Let me know how it is. I'm going to have to definitely work myself up to ayahuasca. Like, I'm going to have to work myself up to ayahuasca, right? Okay, interesting. I thought San Pedro It is was a name of the process. No, that's the name of the medicine, not the process. That's just the name of the um, the medicine. Okay, anybody else, anybody else, I'm going to take three more questions and then I have to go because I have a call I have to get to. So three more questions, three more questions. Anybody, anybody want to ask me any questions, 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 comments, concerns? Do, 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 Okay, I guess nobody has any other questions, right? So. What I'm going to do with this live video is I'm going to download this live video and I'm going to also add snippets of the San Pedro experience within the video so you can see behind the scenes what happened. Like I said, warning, there will be kind of graphic. You could see me throwing up, you know, but hey, if you want to see the journey, check it out. To all my YouTube family, whoever is watching this video right now, Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be bringing more spirituality and finances together because that's my thing. Spiritually, spirituality, 
finances and sexuality are my three pillars and I will be bringing more and more and more and more information to you guys because I love it I love it I love it and it is my goal to get everybody back into the roots right to the roots right we got to get back to the roots of doing things right how wait let me see how are you now um right now I'm feeling better let me see Fr what's today Tuesday Friday Saturday I would say like Monday, um, I started feeling a little bit more better, um, but I also had my uh, cycle start the next day after the ceremony, so I had to like go through like filling my cycle and then filling the medicine, so I literally have been down ever since Friday. I was going to do this video for you guys yesterday, but I just couldn't. Like I just slept. I even slept all day today, right, but I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling clear. Um, I'm definitely still, um, purging. Um, uh, I definitely can still feel it, like, in my body. Like, there's emotional things that are still, like, coming up, uh, for me, which is beautiful because we like to hide the things inside of us. We like to hide the fear. We like to hide the hate and the hurt. So, I'm just like, I'm coming out. I want it all to come up, right? Because I want to be my best version of myself. I want to continue to operate in God mode, okay? So let me see, let me see. We will talk more in detail. Yes, we will, Lorna. I got a couple things I'm going to do. I didn't call you yesterday, Lorna, because I was done. I was done, son. I was done. <laughs> I couldn't even talk on the phone, all right? So I guess nobody else has any more questions. I'm going to go ahead and... um you know, stop this live video. If you haven't already, as soon as I stop this live video, go to my page, click the follow button. If you click the follow button, you're going to always be notified by everything that I put out. I do giveaways. I do different things. You don't want to miss out on the content that is on my page. So please follow me on Facebook. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be dropping it below. All right, family. So peace love and prosperity baby see the description of this video for links to trade nation university and trade nation global where you can learn how to become a skilled forex trader successfully earning profits and creating generational wealth don't forget to share and like this video also remember to subscribe to the channel to get notifications on my new videos Peace, love, and prosperity, family.